But the big story on Action News tonight is the disturbing revelations detailed today against three police and public safety officers. Prosecutors in Philadelphia laid out the cases this afternoon, each officer accused of sexual violence against the people they were supposed to protect. One, a school resource officer convicted of targeting children. Another, a homicide detective accused of assaulting the mother of a murder victim. Action News reporter Maggie Kent joining us live at Philadelphia Police Headquarters tonight. Maggie, the DA called these crimes today the ultimate betrayal. Yeah, exactly, Brian. Now, these alleged acts happening sometimes while these officers were on duty and supposed to be supervising either children or working on homicide cases. In one of these instances, one of the alleged victims is a mother of a man who was killed in 2020. And the man who she says assaulted her was working on her son's case. A few of those who use their power in completely inappropriate ways are being knocked down. This afternoon, District Attorney Larry Krasner's office addressed cases of three officers wanted for sexual violence crimes. Former police officer Patrick Heron has been charged with stalking, intimidation, harassment, child pornography, and indecent assault. We spoke to the father of one of his alleged victims in September. I'm so proud of her. Yes, she's having a lot of difficulties right now, and we will get through that. School resource officer Howard Rubin pleaded guilty to sex assault and corruption of minors and received a sentence of 10 to 20 years in prison. We have, as I mentioned, good reason to believe that there are other victims of this defendant out there. Former homicide detective Donald Sachinsky was charged on February 23rd for harassment, indecent assault and stalking. Those charges relate to individuals that he met in the course of his duties as a homicide detective. Attorney Josh Van Narden filed a federal lawsuit against Sachinsky and the Philadelphia Police Department on behalf of the alleged victim. She's the mother of a man who was murdered in 2020. Detective Sachinsky was assigned to investigate that murder, and instead he further victimized my client by harassing her uh, via emails, texts, uh, and then physically assaulting her. Commissioner Outlaw releasing a statement today saying in part the charges against Detective Shuinsky are highly disturbing and they stand in stark contrast to everything that society expects of law enforcement officers. We're live outside of police headquarters. Maggie Kent, Channel 6 Action News. Brian. Okay, Maggie, thank you.